Okay, so this is part three on 10.5 compositions. In part two, we finished up with a construction where we did two reflections and it ended up being a rotation. So here's the theorem that goes with that. If you compose two reflections over lines that intersect at an angle of x degrees, then the resulting image is a rotation of an angle two times x degrees where the center of rotation is the point of intersection. Okay, so let's take a look at two more examples where we can put this theorem to work. In example eight, we're going to reflect the square over y equals x followed by the, a reflection over the x-axis. So the purple line is showing y equals x and I need to know what the slope is for that. So the slope is 1 over 1. It's already in y equals mx plus b form, y equals x. So I need to find the perpendicular slope, which is negative and reciprocal. So I know where the reflecting point is going on the other side of the line. So our perpendicular slope is going to be negative 1 over 1. So I can use that idea of the slope and find the point equidistant to the line of reflection. So here I have a prime, b prime, c prime, d prime, and I make these little gray lines here. You could see those are being perpendicularly bisected by the line of reflection. So there's my first reflection. The second reflection is across the x-axis. So I'm counting the distance the points are to the x-axis, and then I'm going to reflect them across on the side below. And I get my A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, uh, D double prime. Now, we finished with this problem, but I'm interested in a rule for this transformation. So here are my points A, B, C, D. These are my, from my original square. And they're being transformed into these points the double prime points in purple. And just see if you can figure out the pattern here with all these points. So it looks like for the double prime points, we are replacing the x value with the y value from the original point, and that the y value in the double prime is being replaced with the x with a sign change. So here's the rule x, y transforms to y comma negative x. So that's kind of an extra step I wanted you to see. Well, let's take a look at example 9. We have the same figure here and I just want to see uh, what the amount of degrees of rotation is. So we're going to use the theorem that I introduced in the beginning. The amount of rotation is going to be two times the angle of the lines of reflection. So basically the x-axis and this y equals x line. So I'm going to put it in here in red. That angle, if we can find that angle, we just double it. So we know this purple line will split the 90 degree quadrant here into two congruent angles. So the angle that the two lines of reflection make will be 90 plus 45, which is 135. So what do we do with the 135? Well, we double it. The rotation of the figure is going to be 2 times the angle that the lines of reflection make. So 2 times 135 is 270, which is exactly 3 quarters of a turn. Try the practice set.